good day everyone so today i would like to provide a quick demo on the estimation of solvent boiling points based on the vacuum <clears throat> so everyone knows the boiling point of solvents at normal conditions so how it is going to vary under vacuum that we will see today and apart from this variation of solvent boiling points under vacuum i would like to discuss one more thing that is estimation of pressure based on the sea level so i'll mark two things over here the first thing is estimation of pressure at a specific location based on sea level and the second one is estimation of solvent boiling points based on vacuum these two things i would like to show you basically whenever the altitude is going to increase the height above sea level so automatically the pressure at a specific location is going to get reduced so automatically the solvent will tend to boil at lower temperatures and today i'll try to take the comparison sorry it's not comparison i'll try to take the case of visakhapatnam visakhapatnam is at a height of 45 meter above the sea level it's 45 meter altitude now let's try to calculate the pressure available at visakhapatnam area the formula is pressure equals to 760 multiplied by 1 minus 2.25577 multiplied by 10 power minus 5 into the height h whole to the power 5.25588 so this is the formula through which we would like to estimate the pressure as it's a 760 mm hg that overall pressure the pressure that we will go to get will be in mm hg only the units now let's see it is 760 multiplied with 1 minus 2.25577 and 10 power minus 5 and the h here is 45 meter whole to the power 5.25588 so it's almost 756 mm hg of pressure we will be able to get at visakhapatnam location with a altitude of 45 meter the maximum vacuum that we will be able to achieve at visakhapatnam location is 756 mm hg since it is the maximum attainable pressure here this is the first thing and the second thing is going to be estimation of solvent boiling points based on vacuum as vacuum is going to vary automatically the boiling points will vary so estimate that we will be using the antony equation it provides us a relationship between the pressure as well as the boiling points so log p equals to a minus b by t plus c this is the basic antony equation a b c are the constants and these constants are going to vary from solvent to solvent we cannot consider the same constants for all sorts of solvents here i'll try to provide you with a sheet so it is almost containing 700 type of components so it almost contains uh, yeah it's almost contains 700 type of solvents and 
Today I'll try to provide you with a demo by considering any of the known solvents. Here we'll try to take the case of acetone. 7.23 so this is the value of A and this is the value of B. This is the value of C. Okay, A is 7.2316, B is 1277.03, C is 237.23. We know the equation. So let's try to see at 700 mm Hg of vacuum, what is the boiling point of acetone? Vacuum is 700 mm Hg. So the available pressure is 756 or uh, here we got the value already minus 700. We are going to try or we are going to estimate the vacuum of acetone at 700 mm Hg at Vishakapatnam location. This is the available pressure. So using this Antony equation, we need to estimate the boiling point. Hence, before doing that, we have to rewrite the equation by making the T as subject. So this is going to be B divided by A minus log P minus C. This is the equation after rewriting. So here B is 1277.03 divided by A is 7.2316 minus log of pressure is 56 mm Hg minus C is 237.23. So that means acetone is going to vaporize at four point sorry at minus four point three six degrees centigrade at seven hundred mm Hg of vacuum at Vishakapatnam location. This is how we are going to estimate the boiling points of solvents based on the Antony constants. So I'll be providing you with this. PDF in the description, the link to download in the description, please check it. If you like our content, you can please subscribe to our videos and our channel. Thanks for watching the video.